we're going to practice drawing some three-dimensional shapes. So first of all, let's start with a basic cube. To draw a cube, you need to start with a square. A square is a flat or a plane shape, also known as two-dimensional. Now, to turn a square into something three-dimensional or a solid shape, you add a diagonal, 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 and then you connect those lines, the horizontal line, and a vertical line. Next, let's do a cone. A cone is a triangle that's rounded at the bottom. So we start with a triangle shape, which is a plane shape or a flat two-dimensional shape. And to make it into a three-dimensional shape, you add an oval at the bottom. Now let's do a pyramid. Pyramid also starts out with a triangle, a flat shape, or a plane shape. Then you add a diagonal, and a diagonal that connects it. It's a pyramid. Now if you were to draw bricks on this, the bricks would follow the diagonal on this side, and they would go horizontal on this side. Next, let's do a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism is a three-dimensional rectangle. So we'll start off with a rectangle. And just like we did with the cube, we're going to add diagonal going this way this time. Diagonal and another diagonal. Then we'll connect those with a vertical line and a horizontal line. The next one we're going to do is a cylinder. Now a cylinder is similar to a cone in that it has an oval on the top and the bottom because it's rounded. So we'll start off with an oval for the top, two lines straight down, and an oval at the bottom. Now the cylinder and the cone are transparent because you can see the entire shape. If you were to draw it solid, not transparent, you would do the triangle and just a curve at the bottom. If you were to do the, the cylinder solid, not transparent, you would draw two lines, the oval at the top, and just a curve at the bottom. Alright, that's how you draw solid or three-dimensional shapes.